Hello, my name is Kain Son Munonya, and in this video, I'm going to explain uh, where you'll start from when you want to start learning computer programming because on uh, the internet and everywhere you see uh, a whole lot of programming languages, programming language uh, materials, uh, documentation here and there. But looking at all these things is going to be uh, a bit confusing for a beginner. So if you don't have a background in computer science or computer engineering or some sort of of a computer uh, related course, then where do you start from if you want to delve into a field of computer programming, whether you want to do it as a hobby or whether you want to uh, be an, a professional eventually, or you even want to take a course in computer uh, programming or software engineering, where do you start from? Which programming language among the the, 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 the virtually hundreds of programming uh, languages and documentations out there will you choose, will you start from? Well, first I'm going to tell you about myself. Uh, I ended up as a software developer and also a computer programmer. Personally, I studied computer engineering and in school we had some programming courses, but of course, that was not my starting point. I already was writing computer programs before my university. So how did I start? My elder sister studied uh, computer science, so I picked up these uh, Fortran manuals that uh, she comes back home with. Uh, Fortran manuals, uh, a basic, Q basic uh, uh, manuals and handouts. And I, was able to use this before that time. I was able to 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 look through the library, look at the encyclopedia, go to the to the uh, Fortran as a topic, and I was able to read and get a fundamental concept. But that was when I was in secondary school. So this handout, Fortran and Basic, those were those are actually my starting point in computer programming. And then in my second year, my year two, I have to buy a C++ textbook. Remember the name of this textbook is uh, C++ Programming Design by David Sain and Cohoon or I think something like that. So I was just spending day and night, day and night writing computer program debugging and eventually I uh, was just saying that is those are my beginning in terms of computer programming. Now, I can write Java program, Pascal, Cobol, uh, uh, Ruby, Python, .NET, what have you. But the important thing is that I would like to make it very, very clear. If you don't have the right, right foundation, you are not going to get far. So you need to choose the right starting point. And now, let me now answer the question, where do you start from? The answer is simple, start from the basics. The basics I mean is start from learning the fundamentals of computer programming. And programming languages like Fortran and BASIC will bring you up to speed in terms of the fundamentals. And I mean the fundamentals, I mean the underlying principles. In time, the concepts, uh, variables, uh, 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 arithmetic operators, files, extensions, and so on and so forth, comments and so on. So, these are the rudiments you need to learn first before you move to another level. So, of course, Fortran means formula translation, QBasic means uh, beginners, all purpose, symbolic instruction code. I think I'm correct, but I can't remember. So, these two actually, I'll say they are good starting point to let, you know, to let you know the fundamentals of programming. But if you just want to be developing uh, small applications as a hobby without going too far, I will now say get a visual basic textbook or get some visual basic materials and then use it to learn, follow the instructions, do the hands-on, 
get a good computer, install the application in there, and follow the instructions, and then move on to develop. Well, one thing I also want to point out here is that for you to be a good programmer, you need to start with your pen and your paper and your books. A, a good programmer does not just start with sitting in front of the screen and the keyboard. No, that's not your starting point. So pick up a textbook, get the fundamentals, then move on to the system to write these programs and debug them. Initially, try to type in the program in the textbook there into your system and then run it, it gives you errors, then debug until it works and then you move on to another one. So if you do this repeatedly, most likely you'll be getting more and more, uh, uh, getting more of the concept, it becomes clearer to you how programs are structured how to optimize and stuff like that. So, but I, I want to summarize. First, try to get the, the, the rudiment, the fundamentals, the underlying principles of programming. And I suggest going back to Fortran and Basic and uh, maybe Visual Basic. This gives you the fundamentals. This tells you what computer programming is all about. And then you go ahead to choose which area you want. Now I want to talk about something else. I want to talk about uh, just briefly on different programming languages out there. Now there is a shift from the normal desktop systems to the web. So today there has been programming languages that are designed specifically for the web. Sometimes they are called scripting languages. For instance, you've heard of PHP, you head of Python, you head of Perl, you head of uh, Ruby on Rails, and so on. So these are programming languages designed to 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 handle web programming. Then we have JavaScript as well. So I would like to assure you that once you know the fundamentals of programming, even all these ones, you can have them right in your bag with very little effort. So go out there, get a textbook, get this uh, fundamental knowledge of computer programming, and then you move on. In my next video, I'll compare the various computer programming languages in use today and help you know which one is actually the right choice for you. I just hope that this little explanation has been informative for you. So please, down there in the link, like my video, share my video, comment on it, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.